Hello again, awesomers. It's me. It's your old buddy, Steve Simonson. And today I'm coming at you. It looks like I'm coming at you from Shanghai, but no, I'm in Seattle. I'm right here at home. Uh, <laughs> but I've got my team. My team's with me. Uh, let's start uh, with the senior team guy, William. Say hello. Hello, everyone. That's William Wu, everybody. He's famous. He's been doing this uh, international trade for many, many years. Uh, how many centuries have you been doing this, William? A long time, I know. <laughs> Centuries, yeah. Long Not time, quite yeah. centuries, maybe. That's a joke. Uh, William yeah. and I like to joke around, but he's joining us from Shanghai. Um, Alex, uh, say hello, Alex. Hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, there's Alex. You can see he's uh, all millennialed out. Uh, and Alex, you've also been doing this a pretty fair amount of time. I probably met Alex and William, well, maybe 15 years ago for William and 12 years ago for Alex, maybe longer. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's me, a long time ago. Me, I think it's, uh, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, around 20 years. Around 20 years. <laughs> See, and that's what I love. I love relationships. And these these guys and gals, who I'm going to introduce you to Jessica, they're the people I trust the most in China. Jessica, say hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. There she is. So, Jessica, uh, you're in the Jiangsu province, yes? Uh, actually, to a Jiang province. Oh, Sijian, yeah, it's all it's all Greek to me. So uh, today, I wanted to have uh, some of my China team members on with us today to talk about what's happening in China because there's a lot of uh, concern about the people. There's a lot of confusion about what's happening, and I figure we would just ask the folks who know uh, in their own region what's happening, right? So we don't have anybody from Wuhan on the call today, so we don't know what's happening in that city besides news reports. But we're going to ask these. Uh, guys what they think and gals and uh, so first of all William tell me what what's the mood in China how, how you know Chinese New Year where a lot of people are staying home what, what's the mood like uh, just for Shang, Shanghai I think everybody is very cautious and uh, try to stay at home and avoiding to uh, get out especially for those uh, uh, places with a lot of people uh, I think it's it's uh, it's 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 a quite a calm. The the problem is maybe I think it's it's also the problem for all over the world that is the the the, the demand for the uh, the masks. So the uh, and, and because in Shanghai I don't feel so not not did not feel uh, don't feel so much because it's, Shanghai is not so serious, and uh, uh, the outburst the number is uh, is is uh, is not that big. But I think that uh, in a in a in a in a in one week we will see the maybe the the peak. Then we will watch after one week. Uh, the, the, the also the the, the people uh, the uh, experts say that after the peak of the outburst there should be a slowdown of the situation. Yeah, I so think I've heard to, that as well. Yeah, the, the, there should be. A, we have to wait patiently. But life is, I think, it did not affect it so much. That's uh, the supply, the food supply. Anyway, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, stable, but a little more expensive, but it's stable. So in Shanghai, the outbreaks is not so bad yet. People are calm, uh, but masks are still sold down. It sounds like, and most a lot of people are staying home and and avoiding the the populous areas. Uh, they're probably not a bunch of people yeah. in Yuan right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is usually. Uh, most people do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Alex, uh, so we know a little bit about the mood. You're also in the Shanghai uh, region, but what, what's, what's your sense of how the country uh, overall is reacting to the situation? Uh, talk about maybe Wuhan and some of the things you were talking about before. Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, the uh, disease was coming out from Wuhan, the city. There's, uh, uh, there's a, uh, like uh, 10,000, uh, 10 million people in Wuhan city. But the, before the, uh, uh, the city was shut down, it was closed on the uh, January 22nd. But before that, like uh, 5 million people was going outside. So the whole province are uh, affected. It comes like uh, the Hubei province. Lots of people get sick because of uh, Wuhan people going outside and because they don't know. And uh, some people come to Shanghai and they find out and then they go to the hospital. So Shanghai is pretty fine. And uh, right now, every day, the numbers, get, uh, sick numbers is increasing. So today it's about uh, uh, 1,900 people get that sick. 
So every day is increasing, but the people said that that's because uh, these days are the uh, uh, peaking time. So after these days, uh, the, the numbers will go down. And uh, lots of uh, uh, hospital people is going to Wuhan and support them from all over the China. Yeah, that's a good thing that the country's pulling together. And just for the awesomers yeah. out there listening, there's, there's kind of two data sets here. So inside of China, I hear that the peak is either now or in about a week. Uh, outside of China, I hear the peak uh, is set for uh, potentially weeks or even, you know, not like three weeks to nine weeks from now is what people are saying on the outside. So it kind of depends on who you ask. Um, yeah, no, actually, from, it's uh, because uh, they have uh, um, like a, um, the, when you get get uh, uh, get close to the sick people, uh, maybe the uh, the virus will be get into your body, but uh, it won't happen immediately. It right. will probably like hiding like a seven or ten days. So that's why people said that these days is more important because they found out the disease um January, I think it's about 15 or 16. So these days is almost about 10 days. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And that's that's actually yeah. part of the problem is people don't even feel sick, but they might have the disease. They might not even feel sick later, but they might infect other people. That's where it becomes dangerous. Uh, Jessica, yeah. and by the way, we're not we're not panickers over here. We talk about what are the facts, how do we deal with it, what does it mean for our personal lives, what does it mean for our business, and that's what we talk about. We're not talking about panic, and we're certainly not talking about all the political undertones. So, Jessica, uh, tell us how it is in your area. Well, actually, I'm in Zhejiang, and Zhejiang is the second severe province in China now, but most of them are in Wenzhou, but I'm in Jiaxing, so... Uh, my area is quite okay. The day before yesterday, I went to the supermarket and there are still kind of lots of people there, but it's just everybody was wearing a mask. I think everybody is knowing the situation and try to protect themselves, but the daily life is still going on. Interesting. Okay, so I, I like the fact that the awareness is out there and hopefully the masks are effective. We know that uh, one of our colleagues, she couldn't join the call, but uh, Viola's down in the uh, Guangzhou area, and that's what. What's your sense, William, about this situation in Guangzhou? I think it's also quite uh, serious here. It's uh, maybe quite similar with Zhejiang Province, uh, just uh, mentioned by Jessica. And uh, the third, the third, yeah. Uh, I, my point is that uh, since the government, uh, the uh, attitude, the and the actions. I don't think there's uh, a panic here in China, the whole area, the whole country. It's not a panic, just uh, uh, people just uh, waiting uh, patiently. And I think that we don't pay attention to those new cases confirmed every day. This is not important because every, before, if, uh, before every day it's uh, new confirmed uh, cases, you will see uh, the suspected cases. This is, I think, the most important, the, 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 the most uh, important fact we should uh, uh, focus on. If the suspected number is decreasing, that means that the, the spread is uh, relatively controlled. Because you know that every new case is coming from these uh, all, all new uh, suspected cases. So I, I noticed that maybe uh, yesterday the, the case is a little bit uh, lower than uh, the day before yesterday. So uh, I see that, uh, I foresee that with uh, next week, uh, maybe uh, there are still more cases. And uh, we'll see load later on that uh, the, the, the lower down of this new increased uh, suspected cases. Interesting, I haven't been tracking the suspected cases. That yeah, they, no, uh, no, not so much report about the suspected cases every day. The people all just focus on how many new cases Every uh, which which area which country found a new case right and uh, yeah because uh, there's a uh, the uh, there's another concern is that not only this is we found uh, peop, uh, the the cases that uh, actually newly affected that has no uh, not related to any any Wuhan uh, uh, situation either be there or either the contact with the people from that that area. So that, that's quite a concern that uh, uh, 
but I think that see the 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 uh, the uh, the measures taken by the government is quite effective. That stops the the uh, the the the, the flow of the people, especially you know this uh, most busy uh, uh, busy season in China, the largest um, according to BBC, it's the largest <laughs> migration every year in China, in the world. Yeah, so, that, that uh, is the, that's the part actually on a factual basis. The largest human migration in the world that happens every year was interrupted yeah. this year. I mean, that's a, a phenomenal. Yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, so this 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 concern that <laughs> we will see that maybe uh, uh, it will last. I think that will last uh, uh, until maybe uh, March, at mm. least. Yeah, you I know, think you're probably SARS right. Yeah. Takes, uh, SAR takes uh, six months, and yeah. with uh, even it's more uh, uh, contagious than the SARS, the corona, cor corona virus. Yeah. But but it takes with, because we have uh, a strong measures uh, uh, taken in time. I definitely see the Chinese government taking very what appear to be not just strong but p possibly and probably effective. The fact that. They said and hey, historical, you know, the people yeah. describe it, and historical to close down a, 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 a ten million people city, it's a, a historical. So that's it's a, so I think there should be a, they, they, they will take effect gradually. Yeah, that's good. And now we, just oh, go ahead, William. Yeah, we're lucky that we have they have this uh, values. Otherwise, it uh, should be more uh, pro big problems. Well, yeah, if China. if they had just let oh, it go Lord. another week or two, it could have been catastrophic, right? I mean, yeah, not only China, the right? whole world. Right, yeah. I agree. Uh, Jessica, so when you when you were in the supermarket the other day, were people stocking up on more food than normal, or was it just kind of a normal trip to the supermarket? We may have a lag, so, Jessica. Yeah. I say, uh, when you were at the supermarket the other day, did it seem like a normal uh, trip? I know, I'm just curious, Jessica, what's your purpose to go to the yes. supermarket? You, you want to store some, uh, some food? No, actually, I just want to have a look at what's outside. <laughs> Because everybody was suggesting, hey, I just want to see what happened outside. Because all the things I, I saw was from the internet. Like, I need to see in the real world. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like that. See, she's brave. So when, yeah, when you saw, yeah. you went out and you checked it out, Jessica. Did it seem like a normal day at the supermarket? Or were people putting yeah. lots of food in? <laughs> Well, actually, the, the in the supermarket, it's like the normal day of every day. But uh, all of the streets like kind of empty because other stores are kind of closed. Only the supermarkets because you have to give the daily supply. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, one of the things about China is a lot of the food is bought in very small batches, right? It's very, very fresh. So I, I would imagine that a lot of people need to shop for food regularly. Is that still true? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's a, that's a difference. Uh, now, Alex, um, did did this interrupt your your uh, Chinese New Year? Did all the celebrations go like normal, or was this different? It's different. Everybody stay at home, and you know the Chinese New Year. The it's like uh, the uh, American Christmas. People like to uh, all the relatives likes to gather together, have a big meal, especially from the uh, from the, the first day to to I think uh, the fifth day. But now they they just stay at their home and not not going all together to have have dinner. And most people they already booked the uh, like a table at the restaurant. That they uh, and then they just canceled the book uh, reservation. So all the restaurants were closed. Wow! Yeah, that's amazing. Um, you know, when I heard that they were closing all the movie theaters when all the big premieres um, come out at this time, and the, you know, such a big industry. Uh, yeah, I knew that was a, a it's a Chinese uh, tradition like uh, the first day of the Chinese New Year people like to go to the temple and even the temple was closed wow. they're not allowed to go there yeah so uh, let me ask each of you so I, I appreciate you guys sharing and and I like as always I knew that your uh, calm pragmatic approach would uh, would show and so I appreciate you guys sharing this with everybody um, any any other words you want to share with the world out there, uh, William, about what's happening with the coronavirus in China? Uh, it's uh, 
it's a, it's a how, how to say that is uh, we all uh, I think that the government, or uh, not only the government, all the experts uh, underestimated the uh, the contagious nearness of yes the, the the seriousness of the this problem this this virus. So it's a big problem. It's a you know you see lots of it's a, it's a uh, even the death toll is lower, but the spread is is more than stronger than the uh, uh, SARS. So it's a big problem for Chinese people. We don't we don't know that. Uh, because it's uh, uh, several one week, weeks ago, we hear different, uh, uh, different, quite a safe uh, 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 seeing by the those experts. But these days, you see, it's ten more than next tomorrow. You will see more than ten thousand people cases. So uh, I don't think it's uh, I don't know how it goes on. But anyway, with the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, with the uh, measures already taken, just just to give uh, China some time, some days, some time. Uh, I think it's a, it's a, it should be, uh, it should be calmed down uh, uh, quite soon, maybe yeah. one month, maybe two months. It's uh, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, it's anyway, China is a, is a, this way will affect the whole world economically. That, that would be uh, definitely no doubt. Yeah, I'm going to come back to you on that question, William, because you always have very keen insights about that impact. Uh, but Jessica, any other words about uh, this situation or anything you care to share with the world about what's happening in your area? Uh, well, I think the the disease is serious, but we can what we can do is stay calm and take the government's suggestion, like stay at home for most of the time. If not necessary, don't go to the uh, crowded places, yeah. <laughs> Except for Jessica, who's curious about things. <laughs> well, He's an investigator. One day for ten days. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, listen, uh, listen. It's got to be incredibly boring, right, Jessica? Just sitting at home. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, just let's be patient. Yeah, that's good advice coming from Jessica. And Jessica practices the do what I say, not what I do policy. So I like that. <laughs> uh, listen, I understand. And I'm, I'm glad that you're okay. Uh, Alex, any uh, words about what's happening over there? Yeah, uh, the, yeah, it looks like a very a serious disease, but uh, you don't have to be panic. Uh, still, there are people who uh, survive and those people get died because uh, they already got some uh, like uh, health problems. So uh, you don't have to be worried about anything, but uh, have to take care of your family is the most important. So fortunately, my two old people in, at home listening to me and take the mask when they go outside. And uh, every day I force them to eat the uh, garlic oil every day. Nice. Okay. He's uh, not only is Alex uh, prepared for the coronavirus with the mask, but also vampires with the garlic. So good job, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, everybody. Uh, they always laugh at my jokes. Uh, now, William, and I'm going to ask all of you guys this question before we go. William, we know that, you know, Iwu's uh, closed down till at least February 18th right now. Um, Chinese New Year was extended till February 10th, according to what I'm hearing. What impact do, as we now, we can only speculate about what we know now, what do we think this is going to mean for uh, trade and, and shipments and things like that? What impact will it have on folks like us who bring in a bunch of containers? I think it's uh, just, to, just to, for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, for the uh, purchase. Uh, of, I mean, the, 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 if you purchase a product in China, that, it means just only the delay. It's just a delay. You, you can say that uh, usually, you know, uh, the American buyers, you know that, oh, there will be a delay in a uh, uh, Chinese New Year season. But now it's may, may, usually maybe 10 days or 15 days, but now maybe 30 days. You know, my point is that even with the, uh, the, 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 this virus, the, what it's affected is just the, uh, uh, the time of uh, people back to work. Uh, Renew uh, when the uh, uh, the time of uh, for the factories to renew their production, the capacity is still there. The capacity is still there. If so if uh, the if the factory is not uh, already fully loaded before the new year, Chinese New Year they have the capacity to uh, recover soon quickly with the, uh, uh, the 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 delayed orders. I think that just uh, maybe one month delay or maybe one and a half month delay. 
uh, it depends on the people uh, when uh, those factories start to uh, to operation. And I think that for the most of the uh, areas, uh, I think they were the boss were considered to uh, uh, to start the production early. Yeah. When yeah. It, when you see that it's when it's a little bit little bit calmed down, then uh, the, the situation is calmed down. So I think they were eager to try to uh, uh, resume the production. Good, good. Now, Alex, um, you're constantly in factories doing inspections and, and seeing what's happening. How, what impact is this going to have? Let, let's assume that the factories start production. Well, you know, you're on trains all the time. You're always traveling to get to these factories. What's, how are you going to deal with this? Are you going to uh, get some sort of a hazmat suit or, or what, what's your plan? Yeah, the factory is coming back on February 9th. All the factory is coming back on February 9th. But uh, I'm not sure if the workers will be back on the 9th. Probably they will be a couple of days late. And uh, the production will be returned back, I think, uh, no earlier than February uh, 12th or 15th. So when the container is ready, it's almost the, uh, the end of February. But still, after wearing the mask to go to the factory, yeah. Yeah. To check everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to stay and safe. I will. I, I still have to bring the, uh, like, uh, the hand wash uh, in my pocket just in case. Those, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, when you get in on the train, you, can, you have to wash your hands. Yeah, I think that's one of the one of the best precautions is washing your hands and sanitizing your hands, you know, to avoid yeah. the, the virus uh, uh, spreading. So that's very good. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that you're uh, prepared, Alex, as always. Uh, Jessica, you track, I mean, I don't know how many containers are on that spreadsheet you track, but hundreds of containers are on that thing. Uh, what, uh, and you also go to factories and do inspections pretty frequently as well. What's your, what's your plan when things come back online? Well, uh, actually, the February, uh, February 10th, all the factories are going to be reopened, but I don't think all the workers will be back. And most of the factories, they have the materials ready maybe before the Chinese New Year because, yeah, because of the Chinese New Year, they knew the situation every year. So they got materials ready. So once the workers are back, they can run efficiently. Yeah, for me, like in Kaiming, they already do all the goods. They finished before the Chinese New Year. They just waiting to reopen after the New Year and just send the ship out. Ready to ship, yeah. So that's that's a. Uh, so I'm gonna help frame this up. So first of all, great job. Uh, everybody can see why when people go with me to China and they get to hang out with Jessica and William and Alex and Viola and you know anybody else we drag along with us from the team. That, that they're called the dream team, right? Look how smart they are. Look, they're not panicking. They have a plan. This is a put together team. Uh, I just want to say thanks to you guys. You guys are always amazing and you do so much hard work. So I thank you sincerely. And let me, let me see if I can summarize and you guys can tell me if I'm uh, nuts or not. Uh, we'll make this into a game show, nuts or not. But first of all, for anybody who's importing product, it sounds like we could have some delays, right? Regardless of when the factory boss and the management comes back, we've got to get the workers back to actually do the production. Could be some additional delays there. That's life. In some regions, it's going to be worse than other regions, right? There's some regions that are not impacted so much, and they'll probably come back and workers back relatively soon. Uh, we know that workers migrate, and if there's interruptions in their, their migration back to the factories, that there could be some, again, additional delays. But all of, in our case, we had a bunch of production, a bunch of orders in before the Chinese New Year. Some of that's already produced and be ready to ship. So that's great. And others, the raw materials were already forecasted. They're already known. So, so the supply chain interruption upstream won't hit us immediately. It's the worker delay and the factory production delay that will be the short-term problem. Now, long-term, if in regions, for example, if we need film or we need, you know, polyethylene or we need something from a region that is locked down that could create supply chain problems that could lead to further delays uh do you, what do you think william am i nuts or not yes yes correct so he says i am nuts oh dang it no <laughs> I, I got it william yes so you agree with that premise that delays and in different regions it could be different ramifications mm, yeah 
Okay. How about you, well, uh, Alex? Uh, am I nuts or not? No, you're not. <laughs> okay. I'm not nuts. Woohoo! All right, that's good. And uh, Jessica, uh, nuts or not? Yeah. Yes, I'm nuts. Yeah. Well, that's two votes for nuts. Uh, no, I understand you. No, I I, we may have a delay with Jessica, but she agrees with me, right, Jessica? We'll say yes. Yeah. There must be a little delay there, but this is, listen, we, what a world we live in. We've got three international connections coming into this thing, plus my uh, crappy internet. So it's working out and you can see a beautiful uh, Shanghai skyline. So let me just, uh, I'm going to tie it off here, everybody. This is uh, awesomers.com episode number 170. Go to awesomers.com slash 170 to see any show notes, details, links I may add to that page uh, at some point. And yeah, I want to thank you guys again. Go ahead, William. Can you change your background to Wuhan? I don't have Wuhan, but I, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I would. Yeah, that's a good idea. That would be more meaningful. <laughs> oh, see, William, you're right. He, he's always got a way for me to improve. Yeah, me and William go back. Uh, I'll find one of Wuhan, uh, make one of the hospitals, and we'll do a from the hospital report. Yeah, yeah, just the landmark of Wuhan. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, well, again, thank you guys. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Uh, take care of your families. Take thank care you. of your health. And uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Okay. Okay. Okay.